Welcome, history enthusiasts and curious minds, to our journey back in ancient Egypt's time. Today, we shed light on an era often overshadowed by the glory of pyramids and pharaohs. Imagine a time not of golden sarcophagi, but of conflict, famine, and civil unrest. A time when the Nile's bounty faltered and society teetered on the brink of collapse. Enter Sesostris III, a figure of authority and might, wielding power not only with scepter and crown, but through the strategic use of military fortresses and, intriguingly, curses to quell his foes. Today, let's dive deep into these darker times together, exploring the resilience and ingenuity of ancient Egypt. Our story of descent begins in an era when the towering monuments of Egypt's past became silent witnesses to decline. The power of the pharaohs, once unchallenged, began to wane, eaten away by internal strife and external pressures. Imagine the grandeur of the Nile's banks, now marred by the necessity of military fortresses, as Egypt turned inward, guarding against the threat of chaos with both spear and spell. Amidst this turmoil, the reliance on magical curses grew, not merely as lore, but as a real means to maintain order, binding the will of the people to the authority of dwindling rulers. From the ashes of discord and division rose a leader unlike any before, Monty Hotep. His story is not merely one of power reclaimed, but of a nation stitched back together piece by painstaking peace. Under Monty Hotep's guidance, strategies were mapped, allegiances formed, and control wrested back from regional rulers who had carved Egypt into fiefdoms of self-interest. This segment of our history speaks volumes about the importance of unity and strategic leadership in overcoming partition and disarray, setting the stage for a reborn Egypt. In the shadow of unrest, Egypt's societal fabric transformed. This era saw a shift in the sands of religion and governance, with local leaders gaining precedence over a centralized authority once deemed absolute. Magic and curses, previously the domain of deities and the pharaohs, became personal, a testament to the evolving beliefs and the need for protection in uncertain times. Yet, this period also fostered resilience and adaptability, highlighting how crises can catalyze profound social and cultural shifts, forever altering the course of history. The path to reunification was no simple journey. Under Monty Hotep's leadership, strategic military campaigns were embarked upon, not merely to conquer, but to unify, to stitch the fabric of a nation back together. This era of rebuilding brought not just stability, but a renewed sense of identity to Egypt, as disparate regions were woven back into a single tapestry under a centralized, yet compassionate rule. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of a civilization that, even in darkness, found a way to light the path forward paving the way toward a new dawn for Egypt. Welcome back to our journey through the enigmatic corridors of ancient Egypt's history. Today, we dive into the legacy of the Dark Ages, a period that, while tumultuous, sculpted the civilization in ways that resonate through the annals of time. The Dark Ages weren't merely a time of chaos, they were a crucible that refined Egyptian governance and military strategies. Think of Sesostris III's innovative use of military fortresses a tactic that would inform defense strategies for centuries to come. Indeed, the challenges of this era demanded a re-evaluation of authority and the consolidation of power, leading to a governance model that blended strict control with monumental architecture to assert dominance. Turning our gaze to the impact on art and culture, it's fascinating to observe how hardship can beget beauty. The Dark Ages of Egypt brought about a seismic shift in artistic expression, moving towards realism and embodying the somber realities of the time. This period saw art becoming a canvas for the public sentiment, mirroring the societal upheavals in stark, compelling visuals. The stoic faces of statues and the poignant scenes depicted in tomb paintings tell a tale of resilience amidst adversity. The evolution wasn't just stylistic, it was symbolic. Artifacts from this era speak volumes about the society's values, beliefs, and the human spirit's indefatigability, serving as a poignant reminder of the era's profound impact on Egyptian culture. Our next segment uncovers the treasures unearthed by modern archaeological insights. With each excavation, the Dark Ages of Egypt yield secrets long buried beneath the sands. Tomb excavations and artifacts bring to light the intricate dynamics of a civilization grappling with its identity. Inscriptions deciphered from stelae and temple walls 
offer a glimpse into the daily lives, beliefs, and struggles of the people. These findings not only enrich our understanding of the period, but also connect us with the human stories at the heart of ancient Egypt's legacy. Remarkably, the technology at archaeologists' disposal today, from satellite imagery to ground-penetrating radar, transforms shadows of the past into vivid narratives, enabling us to piece together the puzzle of Egypt's Dark Ages with unprecedented clarity. Reflections on leadership during Egypt's Dark Ages reveal a tapestry of strategic genius and adaptability. Leaders like Monty Hotep, emerging amidst turmoil, exemplified the qualities necessary to not just survive, but thrive in such challenging times. The shift in leadership styles was not merely situational, but rather an evolutionary response to the needs of the era. The capacity to inspire, to innovate in governance, and to unify under a common cause. These were the hallmarks of leadership that not only navigated through the darkness, but emerged into the light. This period teaches us the value of resilience and visionary leadership. It's a testament to how, even in the face of overwhelming odds, strong, adaptive leadership can chart a course from disarray to harmony. As we conclude our exploration of Egypt's Dark Age and the rise of Thebes, let's reflect on the broader picture. This was not merely a chapter of despair, but a storyline of resilience, adaptation, and rebirth. The lessons from ancient Egypt are profound. They teach us about the resilience of the human spirit, the importance of visionary leadership, and the capability of societies to reinvent themselves amidst adversity. In closing, the story of Egypt's navigation through its darkest hours is a beacon of hope. It reminds us that even in our darkest times, there lies the potential for renewal and greatness. As we look back, let's carry forward the legacy of learning, adaptability, and resilience exemplified by ancient Egypt.